The Krista McAuliffe School is a public elementary and middle school located in Jersey City, New Jersey. Serving almost 900 students from pre-K to 8th grade, our school believes in the importance of providing a challenging, diverse, and inclusive curriculum that engages and motivates students to become lifelong learners and productive, responsible citizens. One of the outstanding aspects of our school is our science program. The commitment demonstrated by the science staff has contributed to extraordinary achievement on the New Jersey Ask Science Test. What is it about our science program that makes it such a success? Jennifer Maluski is a former science teacher at the Krista McAuliffe School who was selected as the school's Teacher of the Year in 2005. She currently acts as the Inclusion Specialist for the Special Education Program. Our NJS scores are very strong. In the fourth grade, over 85% of the kids are proficient, and that includes our special ed kids. In our eighth grade, approximately 76% are proficient, and 91% of our general ed kids are proficient in the eighth grade. Our kids are performing. Why do I think that is? We start very young. We put our kindergarten kids in a hands-on science program and we have them experimenting at five years old. And we just build on that year after year until they get to eighth grade. The Krista McAuliffe School's philosophy of taking a hands-on approach to science is shared throughout the school. But how does this philosophy work in practice? Roberto Mello is the hands-on science teacher for the Krista McAuliffe School who works with students in the primary grades. His goal? to get young children excited about the world of science. The importance of starting at an early age with you know, experimentation, scientific method, uh, science-based inquiry, is that you're able, you give the kids a reason to want to do it, you know, especially if it's hands-on. Talking about electricity is something that children take for granted. They turn on a light, they turn on a DVD player. How it actually works, how that actually happens is beyond them especially on the first grade level. So to see what static electricity is all about and the effects it has on the, the environment around them. In my experience, you know, you're more likely to remember things that you actually do than things that you read about. I like doing uh, the electricity with a balloon. I put it on top of someone's head and their hair went up with the balloon. They just don't want to be passive about their learning. Taking a more interactive approach, the hands-on approach, might lead those kids to want to, you know, ask further questions. Our community struggles economically, and many of our students come from a household where the spoken language is not English. It's an added challenge for our teachers here. A few years back, our school actually won the Michael Jordan Fundamentals Grant to upgrade our greenhouse. And a part of that application, I think we phrased it best, we wrote, we needed to provide the plants for our students because they don't have a garden. We have to not only teach them the scientific concepts, but basically some of the life concepts. As students pass from grade to grade, the science teacher may change, but the approach does not. Joel Natus teaches fifth grade science with his inclusion class and finds the hands-on approach to be very successful. Our NJS scores are probably pretty good because in the science section, because we do do a lot of hands-on type activities. This year I signed up for a joint activities program and we actually do quite a bit of field-based learning. I'm able to incorporate that a little bit into the curriculum and these are things I think that the students really um, enjoy doing and uh, probably succeed in something that they enjoy doing. I also firmly believe that our scores are what they are because we practice full inclusion. And what that means is that we take our special ed children and we put them in a general ed science classroom. We put them in with our science specialists, the special ed teacher comes on with them, they get all their special accommodations in the classroom and they're in there learning with their non-disabled peers and our scores support that. The gap is extremely narrow in science and that's one of our biggest trends here at 28 School. As students prepare to graduate from the Krista McAuliffe School, they have the pleasure of working with 2006 Teacher of the Year, Robert O'Donnell. Mr. O'Donnell teaches 7th and 8th grade science to students in what has become a laboratory environment. The philosophy of teaching basically um, is to create a room uh, where the kids can walk in and the subject kind of speaks for itself. So what I've done over the last eight years or so is, you know, infuse it with a lot of flora, a lot of fauna, just to create an environment where the kids Initially when they walk in a room they know that it's science. Having a room like that 
and something that the kids can be interested in and I kind of capture them from that day one and that, that first initial moment. Science is a subject where it should be done through hands-on um, implementation. So what we do on a regular basis is try to infuse the kids with that opportunity to work hands-on with um, you know, objects, whether we're doing dissections or um, gas laws. They seem to retain it better and ultimately they seem to understand it. Reading out of a textbook isn't necessarily the best style of learning for every single student. Having that hands-on approach to things, you're basically discovering what they're telling you in the textbook. You're getting a real-life understanding of what they're trying to teach you. I think it's easier because hands-on is much better than, you know, reading out a textbook. It's not just imagining what you're doing, you're actually doing it, so it makes it that much easier for you to learn and it, it, just, it just stays with you. Another thing that I think really works for us here is our technology. For an urban school, we have a lot of technology here. We have smart boards. If you go into our science classroom, you see our teacher up there with interactive lessons. The other program we have is the iResponse system, where the teacher asks a question, the kids at their desk have an individual controller, and they press the button for the answer they want, and there's instant feedback. What a powerful learning tool for both the kids and the teachers. Our school was involved in LEGO Robotics. Um, it's the first LEGO League um, for about seven years now. In the competition itself, there is a robotics part of the competition, of course, where you're designing and programming a robot to accomplish certain tasks. And then from there, they have to do a presentation component. The kids actually infuse two different technologies to form this artificial glacier that's um, capable of removing excess carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, as well as providing the typical Arctic animals with uh, increased habitat. Throughout those years, the kids have won numerous awards, but ultimately, beyond the awards, it really has impacted the kids' lives. I can definitely reflect on my times in PS28 and say that being part of the robotics team had the biggest influence on me overall. Before I joined the program, I was secluded and all I did was study and just base everything on books. But when I joined robotics, it taught me how to like speak up in front of people. By the end of that three month robotics season, we felt like we made such a big impact on our entire community and it was definitely very fulfilling for all of us. The success of the Krista McCullough School's science program extends beyond our school's walls. Nadia Saleh is a sophomore at Rutgers University. She has taken her experience in the Krista McCullough School science program with her as she pursues a college degree. So now I'm at Rutgers, New Brunswick studying English and Neuroscience, um, doing a double major and um, that really takes me back to my experience as a grammar school and middle school student here at Krista McCullough School. And my first experience with science was actually with Mr. O'Donnell. He actually took me under his wing for a robotics team. I never thought that I could actually pursue science until Mr. O'Donnell came onto the scene. I hope to apply this foundation of science to what I'm doing now, and um, that's actually neuroscience, cell bio neuroscience. I hope to work in a lab when I graduate. I hope to gain my PhD and apply that science research to education, education policy, helping people with cognitive disabilities get more out of the time they spend learning. The science program is just one of many exceptional opportunities afforded to the students of the Krista McCullough School. Despite facing many obstacles, the faculty and administration find creative ways to provide the best educational experience possible. The Krista McCullough School is here to prepare students for high school, college, and beyond. And that's just what it does. Every day.